What is going on YouTube Reverse? John Sanic from Johnny Radio here bringing you another episode of the top 100 artists of all time as voted by you guys. We are in the top 25 now guys. So excited. Every artist from here on out is an absolute legend. You guys really outdid yourselves on voting and uh, I'm so excited to get into it. In this episode, we're counting down numbers 25 to 21. Let's get right into it at number 25. Marvin Gaye, an absolute legend, one of the greatest vocalists of all time. I mean, from Let's Get It On to What's Going On and uh, just everything in between. And, you know, it's I would say those two albums are neck and neck as my favorite of his. Uh, I know a lot of people would say, what? What's going on is the clear victor there, but Let's Get It On has a whole different vibe to it, and it's so great that he expounded on in his career later with songs like Sexual Healing as well. But then also when you go to the front of his career, songs like I Heard It Through the Grapevine, just absolute classics throughout, uh, just one of the greatest, and uh, definitely deserves to be this high on the list. Now at number 24... <laughs> Michael Jackson, yet another amazing vocalist, also an amazing songwriter, songs like uh, Billie Jean and, and Beat It that he created out of his own mind on the amazing album Thriller. Um, my personal favorite album by him is Off the Wall from 1979. I think it's got uh, one of the greatest side A's to any album of any era. Just uh, great music that you want to put your teeth out to, like, mm, yeah. And, you know, he was just, what an entertainer. When you talk about dancing, I mean, come on, he created the moonwalk, uh, just all the choreography he did throughout, like the Thriller video and beyond. Um, just incredible. I want to, I mean, one of the greatest worldwide selling artists of all time for a reason, and that's just at number 24. So now at number 23. Bob Marley. Man, talk about legends. Uh, it's right there in the title of his uh, amazing Greatest Hits album that I would say, I mean, there's so many great Bob Marley records like Natty Dread, um, Star Catch a Fire, but to me, I think Legend is such a perfect compilation record. It has everything that you could need out of um, his most well-known work that uh, that's my go-to and uh, I've reviewed it on this channel as um, a just a perfect record which is unusual for me because I normally don't do that for greatest hits compilations but that one really is amazing but I mean come on man he brought reggae from his home country of Jamaica to the rest of the world and so many people, uh, you know, the police probably wouldn't have existed in the way that they did without the sound of reggae and uh, The Clash and, and so many other bands in the, the late 70s, early 80s and beyond. Uh, his music just makes you happy. Uh, it's like perfect beach music. And just throughout the whole year, I can listen to songs like uh, three Little Birds just every day of the week to lift my spirits and uh, yeah, absolute legend. And that's just at number 23. So now at number 22, Elton John, or Sir Elton John, we will call him. I mean, come on, one of the greatest singer-songwriters of all time. What an amazing pianist as well. His skills on albums like Tumbleweed Connection right behind me, uh, you know, throughout that album, just like, but uh, specifically on the closing track, Burn Down the Mission, you can really hear uh, he's just a master on his instrument. But then vocally, um, I'm going to use many examples from this album right here, Talking Old Soldiers, 
It's such an underrated masterpiece of a song, uh, songwriting wise and vocally, like you can hear that just bluesy, uh, amazing range that he has uh, and really had more of back then in the early 70s. But throughout his entire career, I mean, he's been incredible, uh, still doing his thing. Uh, obviously, Tumbleweed Connection is my favorite album of his, but I mean, come on. So many classic records from the 70s, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, Honky Chateau, Captain Fantastic, the list goes on and on. Uh, Elton John, the gift that just keeps giving. What an artist. And that's just at number 22. So now at number 21, Neil Young, another absolute legend that is still doing his thing. Uh, he's been re-releasing a lot of, uh, or I should say releasing a lot of unreleased older material as of late, which is just all classic. Um, you know, if I had to pick a favorite album, uh, Harvest would probably be up there. I also love uh, 1995's Mirror Ball, you know, when he uh, kind of came back into the fold with Pearl Jam, showing that he was the true godfather of grunge music. Um, it doesn't really get any better than Live Rust, though, uh, from the 70s with uh, his band Crazy Horse. I mean, that's kind of like a greatest hits compilation in a live setting uh, with songs like Cortez the Killer just being so epic. And uh, yeah, man, what a guitarist, uh, what, uh, you know, back even in the, the early days with Buffalo Springfield, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, um, just incredible, you know, uh, when he pops up with uh, on the last waltz doing Helpless, uh, which is such a phenomenal version of that. I almost think I like Neil in a live setting more than on record. But then again, I mean, just so many amazing classic songs that he put to tape, man. Um, Harvest Moon. I mean, the list goes on and on. And that's just at number 21, guys. So tune in next week. We're going to crack the top 20. See who made it. Let me know if there's anyone on your list uh, that made this week's episode. And let me know what you think of the list so far. I would love to see in the comments and I uh, would love to respond as always. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you can always see great quality content like you're seeing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for supporting Johnny Radio, and I'll see you soon.